How to change a nose piercing. One of the great things about having a nose piercing is that you can change the type of jewelry you wear in it to match your mood or style. However, because nose piercings are sometimes vulnerable to infections for months or even years after the date of the piercing, it's important to know how to change your piercing cleanly and safely. One, luckily, this is mostly a matter of having good common sense and being sure to keep your piercings well cleaned, removing your old jewelry. Wait for your piercing to heal fully before changing it. For most new piercings, you'll want to wait until the opening has plenty of time to heal before removing your jewelry. Changing your jewelry too early can be painful and potentially lead to irritation and infection. On top of this, it's likely to extend the healing time of your piercing even longer. While every piercing is different, most new nose piercings will need at least a month to heal to the point that you can safely remove the jewelry. Three, however, longer waiting periods up to two months or longer are usually preferable. As a general rule, if your piercing is painful to remove, it may need more time to heal. Note that, if your piercing becomes infected, your doctor may direct you to remove your piercing early. See our article on infected piercings for more information. Wash your hands or put on sterile gloves. Clean hands are crucial when removing your piercings. Human hands can potentially carry millions of bacteria, especially if they've just come into contact with a bacteria-rich object like a doorknob or a piece of uncooked food. Another good option is to put on a fresh pair of sterile latex gloves, unless you have a latex allergy, in which case, you should steer clear. Gloves can have the added benefit of making it easier to grasp the slippery ends of jewelry pieces that rest inside your nose. Remove the bead or fastener. You're now ready to begin. To start, you'll want to remove or undo the mechanism holding your piercing in. Depending on the type of piercing you have, the exact mechanism can differ. Most should be fairly self-explanatory, but here are some general guidelines for a few common types of nose jewelry. Seamless hoops, this is a metal hoop or ring with a break in the middle. To prep the hoop for removal, just bend the two ends of the ring in opposite directions to widen the opening. Captive bead hoops, similar to seamless hoops see above, but with a bead in the middle to cover the break in the ring. Prep for removal by pulling the ends of the hoop in opposite directions, the bead should eventually fall off the ring, these can be notoriously difficult for first-timers to remove, so if you're struggling, consider getting a professional's help. L-shaped studs, basic stud design with a 90-degree bend in the skinny portion so that the jewelry resembles an L shape. To prep for removal, grab onto the decorative portion on the outside of the nose and gently push down until you see the curve of the L come through the outside of your piercing. Note that you may feel a slight pinch as the bend in the stud comes through the piercing hole. Nose screws, similar to ordinary studs but with a corkscrew-shaped stick portion. These require a little twisting to insert and remove. To prep for removal, gently push outward on the end of the piercing inside your nose. It should begin to slide out. Gently twist it as you push it through your nose, following its curve. Depending on your jewelry, it may take two or three full twists to come through. It may also help to use KY jelly or another gentle lubricant when you do this to keep the stud from getting stuck. Bones or fishtails, miniature sticks or poles with beads or other stoppers at both ends. The central pole may be straight or curved. While some bone may have removable stoppers, the majority do not, which means that these can be some of the most difficult pieces of jewelry to remove. To prep for removal, press a finger or thumb against the end of the jewelry on the inside of your nose and push so that the jewelry sticks out slightly on the outside. Carefully slide the piercing out. Once you've gotten your piercing ready for removal, taking it out is usually a cinch. Gently pull the jewelry out of the piercing hole at a slow, steady pace. If your jewelry has curves in it, go slowly and be ready to change the angle you pull it to accommodate its curves. For some piercings, you may find that it's helpful to have one finger inside the nose to guide the internal portion of the jewelry out. Don't be shy about this, it may look like you're picking your nose, but if you do it in a private place, it can save you from unnecessary discomfort. For nose bones without removable stoppers, pulling the jewelry through will require more force than with the other types of nose jewelry. Try to remove it in one firm but gentle motion. Be prepared for an uncomfortable pinch as the nub on the inside end of the bone comes through the piercing. Don't be alarmed if you bleed a little bit after it comes out, especially if this is your first time, but be sure to clean it thoroughly if this happens. More details on cleaning below. Clean your nose with an antibacterial solution. Once you have your jewelry out, put it in a safe place so that you don't lose any of its smaller pieces. Next, use a cotton swab or Q-tip to gently clean both sides of your piercing with a gentle antibacterial solution. This kills bacteria around the piercing site and reduces the risk of infection. In terms of cleaning solutions you may want to use, you have several options. Below is just a short list of examples, see the section below for more information. Saline salt and water solution. Rubbing alcohol. Bactine. Antibacterial ointment i.e., neosporin, etc.